It's finally here. Hey, what's up guys? This is Kent for TalkAndroid.com and my roommate is cleaning his bathroom and I'm very excited because today's the day, it's finally here. We've got ourselves a Samsung Galaxy S8. Uh, so let's go ahead and this will be a uh, pretty pretty to the point unboxing. We'll uh, take a look at what we got here. Now this is a uh, very straightforward minimal packaging, uh, which is pretty common for most of the flagship phones. Um, flat black design here with the blue S8 logo. And this is a uh, AT&T model, uh, but enough of that. We'll just dive straight into it here. Give me that. And uh, ooh, if you are not sure how to open the box, there's a little arrow. All right, let's crack this open. My cat is going crazy because she is just so excited. All right, let's check it out. Ah, AT&T, let's get started. Get on my face, AT&T. All right, there it is, the S8. And this is the Midnight Black variety. And uh, we'll take this out here and set that off to the side. Let's see what else we got in here. Looks like we've got our SIM tool and what I'm assuming is uh, Terminos y Condiciones. Uh, and we'll go ahead and get that out of the way. And then we've got, looks like a micro USB to USB-C adapter, which is actually pretty handy. And our uh, female standard USB to male USB-C there for transferring your content. And our AC adapter, which does have adaptive fast charging. And under here, we've got our USB-C cable and some earbuds. Interestingly enough, these are um, AKG branded. I do love me some AKG headphones, so I'm very excited to test those out and see how those hold up. So we'll go and set all of this goodness aside for now. Um, we'll go ahead and fire her up here and see what we got. Meanwhile, this does have a 5.8 inch display across the front here. This is the um, S8, not the S8 Plus, which does have a 6.2 inch display. Ooh. Well, hello to you. This does have that 5.8 inch display, unlike the S8 Plus, which has a 6.2 inch display, I believe. Um, and it does have Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on there. This is running Android 7.0 Nougat out of the box. And of course, uh, the ever loved TouchWiz UI. Now, being that this is a uh, US variety, uh, it is running a Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 processor with four gigs of RAM and an Adreno 540 GPU. Uh, now, the nice thing, uh, one of the nice things about this is it does feature 64 gigs of storage. Uh, you might remember one of my pain points uh, from the S7 Edge video I did a while back was that the uh, 64 gigs were pretty much impossible to come by. So it's nice to see them starting at the 64 gig mark. And as always, we do have our SD card slot. Um, and as far as the camera, we have a 12 megapixel shooter on the back with an F1.7 aperture. On the front here, we have a uh, eight megapixel camera also with an F1.7 aperture. Um, now this does feature the fingerprint scanner, which is actually rear mounted. I always found that this uh, location was sort of awkward. Um, so I'll be interested to see sort of how that does in day-to-day -day usage. And of course it also has the iris scanner. All right, but we'll uh, go ahead and dive right into the setup here. I'm gonna start and we'll skip through this real quick. All right, so there she is. Um, there's our home page there. Now, I really, really do love this Infinity Display. Um, the idea behind the Infinity Display is basically the edge display, but taken one step further. Um, virtually no bezels to speak of on the edges there, and then uh, barely any bezel along the top and bottom. What I really love about this design is that it's a 5.8 inch display, and it doesn't feel like a big phone. Um, this was one of the problems I had with the HTC U Ultra, um, which had the same size display that this phone has, but was really goofy to hold in my little tiny malnourished baby hands. Uh, so the S8 has a really, really great feel for it, especially for um, having such a nice size screen there. So um, I always sort of viewed the S8 as an incremental update to the S7, just from what I had kind of seen. Um, so being an S7 user, I'm very excited to see if my opinion on that changes uh, with the use of this S8. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for you. Um, pretty short and straight and to the point. 
Uh, so if you want to stay tuned, make sure you don't miss my full S8 review as well as all the other reviews that I have because I do have quite a bit of work kind of backed up down the pipeline right now. Make sure you subscribe. And uh, do you have an S8? Uh, what do you think about it? Did you have an S7 before? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, until next time, my name is Ken for TalkAndroid.com. My roommate is scrubbing so hard. He's just, he's just scrubbing his little heart out. He's just cleaning that tub. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to Playmobo. Thank you for sponsoring this video. Playmobo is a mobile gaming and advertising company focused on providing mobile game related content. They are your ultimate one stop shop for information on the top mobile games. They provide news, reviews, previews, cheats, walkthroughs, strats, trailers, offers, gift packs, and much more. Their editors study tens of thousands of mobile games on the market and only select and recommend the most elite ones for your enjoyment. And with their app, you can do a bunch of different stuff like uh, browse through the latest news stories for the most popular games, discover top quality new games, master your favorite games with exclusive walkthroughs and tips, uh, view curated list of the best mobile games by category, find deals and gift packs for the top mobile games, earn money by completing game tasks, and participate in discussions with thousands of other gamers. Make sure you check them out by going to playmobo.com and also don't forget to download their app on the Google Play Store.